This is one I built previously. That's a bigger one than the one I caught, that's for sure. Just now. And uh, we're gonna work on a Mark II. You're gonna need a two foot piece of one inch PVC G2 Pro float net. So I got one of them right here, some super glue, some welding um, epoxy, JB Weld Works. I just like this because it cures so much faster. Some X tube, if you want X tube as your grip. I really like this stuff, that's why I would prefer to use it. You're gonna need a one inch end cap. And then depending on how strong you're trying to make this thing, I would go for a, uh, you know, a stainless of some sort and some uh, nylock nuts. Tools you're gonna need, a drill, a heat gun, some great stuff foam. To make your job a little easier, I would go with some uh, scissors, a box cutter of some sort, and I think that's all we got for tools. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna need to do is cut the foam off of the net. So I think we're gonna want it to start right about there. Just giving a little bit of foam up there at the top. So we're gonna score it. There should be an aluminum tube right there. All right, and then go down. Once we do that, should be able to pop it off. I think they started to glue these down though, so it might not work as well as we have hoped. There we go. So you can see there's a little bit of glue in there and uh, pops off pretty easy though. We'll take our blade and just clean this up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. It'll actually probably adhere a little better if there is some rough surfaces. We're gonna want to mix our epoxy once we pop this guy off. Or actually, I remember what I did last time. Pulled out as much bungee as I could and I cut it. Now that we got that out of the way, we can start mixing our epoxy. Again, I like to use this water weld over JB weld just because it cures so much faster and it is built for marine environments. Here it's a two part epoxy, hardener and the epoxy itself. And we're gonna want a good bit of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the whole tube. So we're gonna mix this and we're gonna wanna mix it really good to make sure it's gonna hold as we want it. Now we're gonna glue this on there. And you're gonna want a good amount. As you can see, I'm kinda of putting it on the bottom and that is because when you screw the pipe on there, it's going to want to push it out the top and we're going to try to keep it as clean as possible. Hopefully not have too much of that kind of makes the end product not as uh, clean. Okay. So once that is on there, we are going to get that off our fingers and then we're going to take this super glue and we're just going to go around the top like that. And this is just to set really fast and hold the uh, PVC in place while the rest of the product sets. All right, so now we're gonna slide it on there. Again, trying our, our best not to make too much of a mess. I like to spin it as I go, just to kind of make sure it gets on there real good. And then now that it's on there, we're gonna prop it up on the end cap and we are going to let that set. 
You can kind of use your stick now to uh, clean up the edges if you'd like. Um, it's all going to be covered by the X2 blader, so it doesn't really matter as much. But if you want a nicer end product, this definitely helps. So it's been an hour. Everything seems firm. Let's uh, get going on this thing. So the next thing we're going to want to do is install the um, foam. So we're going to drill some holes. Okay, and we are going to get all that crap out of there. So now we have the foam holes for our foam, and now we can fill her up. You want to go slow and steady. bit. Get some more on this side now. Last little bit. Takes a good bit to uh, fully set. Let's see what it says. Tack free in 15 minutes, cures in eight hours. So this looks like it's pretty much fully done. Find where I put that box cutter and let's clean it up. Almost just took out my finger there. Perfect. All right, let's get that X tube on there now. See how much we'll need. Probably about right there. The heat gun definitely works better than a fire or a torch here. Um, we're just going to put it on low and uh, hit it with the heat gun and it should be good to go. Feeling pretty good. Probably let it cool just a little bit and then we'll hit it again, maybe a uh, glass over it with uh, some high heat just for a second. But it's looking pretty good. Feels great. All right, so for the cap, we uh, kind of want some uh, heat on it as well or some X tape. So we'll hit it with some heat. Okay. Okay. gonna pull it through tie something real easy that'll hold and that'll be a big enough knot should hold pretty easy Foam's looking good in there. So we are going to get this on. Did I not close this earlier? Yes, it's the good kind. Sweet. OK. 
Okay. Got that on there. Where's my nylocks at? Oh, there's already one out. All right, so here it is, finished. Um, off camera, I added a strip of X tape overneath the uh, bolt that I used to secure it. And I added another one to uh, kind of flush up the grip there. So all in all, this thing is pretty beefy, much longer, much better grip. This stuff holds up pretty well. Um, I know someone that I think I'm going to offer this to that I believe will get some use out of it and it'll tell us very quickly if this design will hold up or not um, because they fish a lot.